The canine shadow stalkers poured the content of their cauldrons of blood into the river, the magical blood making the water boil as it stirred the lands around it to malicious life. Their task complete and Marathi Kane's petty revenge accomplished, they began to make their way back out of the Narwood. As they began to discard evidence of their intrusion, like the force of a crashing wave, the guardians of the rivers of the mortal realms attacked. The Yudrillan river blades would not let such corruption of the realm's rivers stand in Age of Sigma war cry. In today's scenario, we're going to be playing with some of the brand new cards that have come out inside Pyre and Blood. Our victory condition will be Watery Miracles. After deployment, the defender will pick a piece of terrain to place an objective marker on, and the attacker needs to try and control this for two consecutive turns to win the game. Otherwise, the defender will win. Crashing waves means we can potentially get some extra crits if we land hits on our opponent but don't get any crits in our attack rolls. And then our deployment map for this scenario is going to be Scouting Mishap. In today's game, I'm going to be playing with the Adrillin River Blades. In my dagger, I'm going to have my Pure Flood Sensual with Yathara Darts. I'm then going to have a Stream Runner with Crest Blades, a Crest Dancer with Rope Sickle, and a Crest Dancer with Twin Spear. Meanwhile, for my shield, I'll have a Crest Dancer with Twin Spear and two more Stream Runners with River Steel Weapons. And finally, in my hammer, I'll have another Crest Dancer with Twin Spear and two more Stream Runners with River Steel Weapons. Steven will be playing with the Knight Shadow Stalkers in our game today. In his dagger, he's going to have his Shroud Queen, Slaughter Shade with Shadow Whip, and Dark Flame Warlock with Repeater Crossbows. In his shield will be a Dark Flame Warlock with Doomfire Ring and two Shroud Blades with Umbral Spears. Meanwhile, in his hammer will be three Shroud Blades with Cursed Swords. Alrighty, so we are all deployed. In this scenario, just our daggers are going to be starting on the table. So for the Yadrillin River Blades, here I have my dagger, which is my Pure Flood Essential, who has the Athara Darts. I've then also got two Crest Dancers, one of them with Twin Spear out the front here, you can see, and the other one there with the Rope Sickle. I've then also got my Stream Runner who has my Crest Blades. Meanwhile, for the Knight Shadow Stalkers, their dagger includes the Shroud Queen, the Slaughter Shade with Whip, and your Darkfire Warlock with his Twin Crossbows as well. Lastly, the other thing, the objective has been placed on top of our brand new uh, Idol of the Old Ones terrain piece that we've got. So let's get cracking into priority. Today's video is sponsored by Gap Games, a fantastic miniature wargaming store in Queensland, Australia. They stock a wide variety of miniature war games from all things Games Workshop to some of my personal favourites, Conquest, The Last Argument of Kings, and all things Modifius war games as well. Use our affiliate code in the link below to help support both this fantastic store and the channel as well. <laughs> So, priority for the River Blades. I have got a double four, and that is it. Uh, so, there will be four singles. Meanwhile, for the Canine Shadow Stalkers, you've got a quad one there, right off the get go. That is that. While dice wise, I've gone for making a double five. Stephen has chosen not to spend his. I will still have the choice of priority for the round. Uh, and I am going to choose to give it away to Steven for the first activation. Alright, so to get us started, the Slaughter Shade moves up with a single move, then performs a wait action. Um, so over to the River Blades. I'm then just going to move my Stream Runner, then with the Crest Blades over to here, and that will be my activation. Your Darkfire Warlock is going to move across, and you're going to take a ranged attack at my Stream Runner. And behind the fence, so I will get the defense bonus. So I go to defense four, strength three with your crossbows. Mm -hmm. So you'll be needing fives. And nothing there. I'm then going to spend a double for my Rapids Rising Leap. This allows me to ignore vertical terrain when moving. Uh, so I do so with my uh, fighter there with the spear. That is the Crest Dancer with Twin Spear. Alrighty, so what Steven's going to do here, first of all, you've done a basic move first. Now you're going to use your quad one for Rampage, which is a free move to take you up to the top. Now, we do need to resolve your damage from the dangerous terrain first, which is D6 damage points. 
for five. You do take five, but your Rampage will give you an attack now for free, and then you get another attack after that as well. <laughs> All right, so your one inch range attack is in. So you're gonna be strength four against my defense four. So needing fours. Got one and a crit. Alrighty, uh, your turn going again as you get a free attack. Mm -hmm. I take seven points of damage. I have three left. Uh, go again. Uh, one of those will become a crit on a two plus, one of your hits there. Um, so on a two plus, it does. So that means it will be over another seven and that'll take my fighter out. Um, I am going to go next with my pure flood. Uh, now, he is within 8 inch, so I'm going to use the double for them, called, which is White Crest Strike. This gives me plus 1 strength to my fighter's attacks this activation. So it'll be strength 5 now. Uh, so 4 attacks, I am wounding on 3s now. Uh, so 1 of these on a 2 plus will become a crit. No! So 2 regular hits will be 4 points of damage on you. And then I'll go again. Uh, so no, I won't get the access to a crit, but there'll be another five points of damage. So it'll be 18 wounds taken. And so lastly, after that, I then just move my crest blade with the sickle up. Uh, and that will be the end of the round. The objective is controlled by the Canine Shadow Stalkers at the end of round one. And so we are priority to turn two now. Uh, I have on that got a double six, double four. Stephen, meanwhile, for the K Knight Shadow Stalkers, has gone and gotten a triple four, and that's it. Alrighty, so I've spent my wild dice to make a triple six. Stephen has chosen to keep both his still. Uh, with three dice spare, he will have the option for who gets priority in the round. Mm -hmm. You're going to take it. Who yep. is going first? Shroud Queen. Yep, Shroud Queen's going to go first. Um, so she's going to spend her triple yep. to activate the laser beam. All right, so the point Steven's gonna pick is gonna be like directly in the middle of these three because you potentially can hit everyone within three inch of the points you pick as you're sort of refracting around and reflecting the beam of the light of the laser beam to damage people. So first of all though, before any damage is done, Steven does need to roll a D6. Uh, on a one, bad things happen. The five, no. Nope. So that just means everyone there will take two points of damage because they take half the value of the ability, which was a triple four. All right, so the Shroud Queen has moved down. She's now going to attack. Uh, I am going to declare the use of my reaction, which is Lethal Gaia. Now, this means I can pick this when I'm targeted with an attack action. Um, and what can happen here, if you roll a one to hit, you deal three damage points to yourself, which is important because you've got two wounds left. So let's see what your attack does. Dang it, wow, that is two crits uh, on your whip and a hit. Eight, nine, ten. Ten, that just takes me right out. All right, I'm going to go with my pure flood next. Who's going to use a triple ability called Release the River? Everyone within six inch now will gain a bonus movement equal to half the value of the ability. So that will be pretty much everyone here gaining three extra inches of movement. I'm then going to throw my darts at the Shroud Queen. One floor up, we'll see her go down. And that will be a crit, so that'll see her go down. And then we're just going to finish up with a move over to there. So it'll be Steven's activation next. Uh, so the Slaughter Shade comes out into the open. Uh, I am going to be defense five behind that barricade, so you will need fives with a strength of four. Uh, she gets one through. Now on a two plus, that will become a crit. And it does. So you're four, four damage. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move up one of my river blades. I'm going to make an attack into your warlock now. I need fours with my strength of three. Uh, that'll be double crit, so that'll be seven points of damage, thank you. Uh, your Warlock will then strike me back, so four attacks, hitting on, well, wounding on fours. Uh, we'll get one crit, so it'll be crit and a hit. Four. Four damage. Go again. You need to do that again, you'll see me dead. And you easily do that, we'll take my fighter out. And so I've moved up my crest blade, I need threes. Uh, that will be two and a crit, so that will be eight points of damage, taking your Warlock out. 
Right, your Warlock with Doom Firing is going to move up next. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take a shot at my leader, I'm assuming there. Yep. Uh, so you will need fives because I will be defense five thanks to the barricade. Cool. So, yep, fives. Uh, nothing there. Right, I'm going to spend a double there with my Crestblade, uh, who's going to use Rapid Rising Leap. Uh, that allows me to not only with my bonus movement of two from here, but I get to ignore vertical terrain. I essentially fly when I want to jump up things. And so I end up there. Uh, so you've moved up your Umbral Spear. Now I am going to be obscured from this attack, so I will get the defense benefit. So we'll go to fives on your wounds. You've got a crit, uh, which will be damage. Uh, crit's four. Nice. Next, I'll just do a double move with the River Blade, who's going to move up like so. You're just going a double move with one of your Shroud Blades into my Crest Dancer, who's already activated. I'll then go a double move with the River Blade here. Double move with your Umbral Spear. All right, so I'm going to jump over. My Crest Blades will attack next. Uh, so we need fours. I do two points of damage. Uh, potentially on a two plus though, one of these is a crit. Nope, I have missed both of those so far. Mm -hmm. uh, your other Shroud Blade moves in. I've got one last fighter to go with. A double move with my River Blade next. And you've got one last fighter. A last Shroud Blade over here. Staying just outside of the crown there. And that will be the end of the round, which I will now control. So I'm at that clock of one. If I control at the end of next turn, I will win. Today's game is played on the fantastic battle mats from our longtime supporters, Mithras Games. Top quality battle mats from New Zealand that have a variety of different designs that can suit almost any battlefield you could imagine. And so, priority for round three, I am going to have a quad four. Love to see it. Uh, Stephen, meanwhile, you will have a double six, and that is it. Alrighty, so while Dice Wire Stephen has spent two, you've now got a triple six and a double five there, leaving you with three singles. I've then got to make a double six, so I'm going to let you have the first activation. Uh, who are you going with first? Alright, so the Slaughter Shade is going to activate first. She's going to go into my Crest Blade. Uh, strength four versus defense five, because I am going to get the bonus from being on higher platform. So you need fives, you got a crit. Uh, and so same target, um, go for it. Uh, she does not get anything. That is good for me. I survive on two wounds. All right, so I'm then going to fight back with that crest blade. I'm going to attack the umbral spear that came up and stabbed me, uh, or tried to at least. I need threes. Uh, that'll be a crit, so there'll be four points of damage to that one. And then my second attack action will go against them again. Uh, that'll be another crit and another four, so that'll take her out. I am not done, though, because I'm going to spend my quad four for Boiling Wrath, which is the quad for the Yadrillin River Blades. This allows me to make bonus actions of pretty much anything I want to do. Moves, disengages, attacks equal to the number of friendly fighters that are out of action. And I have three out of action, so I'm gonna get three extra attacks. So we're gonna start by putting my first attack into the Shroud Blade, or... No, we're gonna go into the Slaughter Shade first. So first one into the Slaughter Shade uh, will be just the one. Uh, so on a two plus, it does become a crit. Finally, one of them does. Going for my second attack, and there's the double crit. That'll take her out. And one last attack will go into the other Shroud Blade with Umbral Spear down there. So I'm essentially just rapidly poking a spear down at the ground. Uh, that'll be eight points of damage and take that fighter out as well. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that went pretty well. All right, so you're gonna use a double for Shadow Leap. Now you will have to take the dangerous terrain. Mm -hmm. So D6 damage, good thing it can't kill you, so that's important. Hey, you're only take two, not bad. Uh, now, who are you going to attack into? Have to attack into. Him. Yep, into the river blade here. Yep. So you will need fours because you're strength three. I'm defense three. Um, now you can roll one of them on a two plus. One of these hits will become a crit. So it's a crit and a hit. How much damage is that in total? Uh, swords. 
One four. So five five. points of damage. Uh, I'm going to activate my pure flood next. I'm going to make a ranged attack into your warlock. Uh, So this will be needing threes at strength four. Um, So that's one. So that's six points of damage so far. I'm going again. Uh, That will be another six point. uh, There'll be 11 points of damage in total. He's dead. Dead? He's only got eight. Oh, wow. Yep, he's gone. So, sorry, Stephen took the one run off. He thought I was going for hit. No, I'm going for here. So, on my second attack, on a two plus, I will kill you because I'll get the extra point of damage I need. I do. So, now you go down because now I do 12. Uh, Which which one of your shroud blades is going? He's using it. Yep. Onslaught. Onslaught, yep, for an extra attack on both his attack actions. Yep. And he's got five attacks in total now. Yep. Uh, needing fives because you are strength three, unfortunately, and I am defense four. Nothing going again, though. You still get your bonus attack here. Uh, so that will be just the crit, mm-hmm. which is damage four. four. Uh, so gonna use onslaught back, and I'm gonna attack the one that hasn't attacked me. So I need threes with my spear. Uh, one of these will become a crit. If this becomes a crit, it will take you out because that'll be the eight points of damage, and it does. And then, well, I've got another attack, so we'll go into the other one. Uh, it will become a crit, or it does, so only half damage is you, though. Uh, my next, I'm going to go with the river blade here, attacking the shroud blade up the top. So my river blade has three attacks. We'll need fours. Uh, sorry, we'll need fives because I'm attacking up this time. I got a crit. Uh, so that will be three points of damage, and I'll go again for another crit. Uh, six points of damage all up. And that will kill him because you did take the two climbing up there. And then the other river blade here will go. Uh, I will need fours, and that'll be a crit and a hit. Four damage to take out the last shroud blade, and it will be a convincing victory for the Yadrillan river blades in the end. I uh, end up on turn three having my second consecutive turn controlling, but there are no K Knight Shadow Stalkers left anyway. High Elf Supremacy wins the day.